Hey, what is going on guys, POG here, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode number 32, and welcome back. So, I actually went ahead and designed the um, towers, as you can see over into the castle, right over there, but I did run out of uh, resources. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, interesting. Get away from me. I did nothing wrong to you. Okay, there we go. Alright, whoa, seriously. Don't... Really? You have nothing better to do, do you, creepers? Oh my god, that's, I guess, the point of them being here. They always have to make a mess for us to make, like, clean up, I guess. Well, they always give you less dirt. But, um, let me go ahead and kind of show you guys what it looks like. I'll be having four towers, so the reason I kind of went ahead and already built it is so... I would kind of have an example what I wanted because I did end up building and like taking it down and building again kind of thing. So now I know how I like it and then how it's supposed to be kind of thing. So it's pretty much like the same design as the walls and there's like this little sidewalk that I have over here just kind of trying to keep the cobblestone theme up as you can see. And then over here how there's like a cobblestone and a smoke stuff over the, gl the glass as you can see here. So there's the cobblestone, smoke stone and then cobblestone kind of repeating how it is here. Um, and over there as you can see it's like smooth stone on the top there and the smooth stone on the outer part and cobblestone. I'm missing the stone slabs however. Let me know if you guys think I should put stone slabs there uh, or I should remove the stone slabs here. Let me know what you think about the slabs. I just think it it just kind of uh, evens them out but also it looks cool like that. So both ways looks pretty good. Let me know what your um, what your thinking is if I should actually keep it or not after all this is uh, six story tall I believe one two three four five six yes it is and I was thinking see the spacing here I could make individual floors um, instead of having for us to go all the way up uh, in order to see something so I think that's pretty cool so let me know what do you think about that uh, but uh, in this episode uh, what I planned to do actually is because I don't want to just like build a castle in every single episode just name them like oh building a castle next episode just continuing and stuff like that uh, I actually thought of uh, because somebody left a comment I believe two episodes ago when uh, I believe me and T-Rex were at the end um, in the and where we could have not find the portal for the end city. Um, so someone told me, I can't remember who it was, but they left a comment that if I use the dragon egg and I put that down on the bedrock or somewhere next to the return portal, I will be uh, respawning the ender, um, ender dragon. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, T-Rex told us how to go ahead and grab the dragon egg. I think it was like placing a piston there and then like oh there's already redstone nice okay well I'm gonna place that there and that kind of gives me the thing now I have another piston just in case if it doesn't work we'll go ahead and go down to the end which is actually right over here somewhere that's why uh, we have it um, built over here it's actually I believe right underneath it so we're gonna jump down there's a opening here that we could go and usually there's quite a bit of monsters here let's take out the spider okay um, maybe I should okay skeleton as well interesting hello skeleton there's I think I see another mob I don't know what is this I thought I see something here well I guess I was wrong uh, but this is I believe where the end is so is the um, little place so let's go down to the end and see if this actually works i hope it does All right so we did end up spawning into the same place i hope there is actually the um the end city portal somewhere but i kind of doubt it but look at the amount of mess we have here okay well snowballs i'm missing that aren't i no way i did nothing wrong are they seriously after me Yes, they are. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do it. Let's jump into the portal a little fast. Oh, I made it. I actually made it. That is so cool. Oh my. I made it like... <laughs> well, 
they honestly weren't as happy with me and since I forgot getting uh, snowballs it made it quite a bit of sense to actually come back kind of thing so let's go and get some snow because I prefer using snowballs because I think T-Rex was using that and and it was pretty good so let's go ahead and quickly grab some snow I think we should do it from there since we have to go that way anyways I don't want to uh, make everything so much longer so we'll go over there and just grab some snow and uh, head back down there so we can destroy all those um, rehealing portals or whatever those things are if this actually works because I, I believe um, I watched a couple of videos uh, when I was uh, trying to figure out how to go to the end city and most people said there's like something you have to craft that needs like a guest here or whatever in order to actually go there so let's see what it is gonna be like I'll just get a bunch of snowballs well I think that should be enough so let's go ahead and Try not to um, mess anything up. Another thing is, I wonder um, if I should really be doing this in in hard difficulty. Right now, I'm playing at hard difficulty, so I, I kind of don't want to mess with the Ender Dragon anymore. So if since I already built him in the hard difficulty, I'm just gonna like restart it into. Um, also, by the way, that's the seed. I'm just gonna put it on easy and kind of uh, deal with him on easy. I don't really got the time to die. Or whatever so we'll play and beat him on easy because we already built him on the hard difficulty with t-rex okay so what I'm gonna do is get rid of the pistons we'll put all these uh, snowballs here now I'm pretty low on the building things so that's gonna be a bit painful I don't really have the resources but let's see what I can actually do so let's jump jump down here eat my bread and head back there and hopefully those endermans don't attack us Okay, let's see. Um, I'm hopefully lucky enough. I believe I can easily take him out now. Um, I don't see any portal to the end city, however. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works. Uh, I think it was like place this somewhere here. Seriously, guys, you actually lied to me in the comments, don't you? said something like putting it here but I knew it was kind of not gonna work but I tried it anyway so I don't know why I guess I have too much trust in you guys let's try this again does he mean maybe placing it here nope nothing spawned interesting well yeah this definitely doesn't work I hope I can at least uh, recover this there we go okay well that doesn't work you guys whoa where did that go now I do want to um, throw this in here and see if it actually works but I don't want to lose it let's do it well yep doesn't work you guys I think I just lost my ender dragon egg didn't I of course I did what am I going to explain to T-Rex where the dragon egg went? <laughs> Looks like uh, that's going to be the cover for it for now. Um, but thank you for trolling me in the comments. I appreciate that. I don't really appreciate it, but not cool. Try not to do that, please. Okay. So, oh yeah, let me show you what I thought. Um, we had to build like some of these stuff and like play some... Um, where is it? Yeah, these stuff. I have to like build quite a bit of these stuff and then place it in order to spawn the Ender Dragon. Well, you know what? I, it's been quite a long time since I've been in the Nether, so uh, let's actually head back to the Nether. I think we built a portal at least somewhere. I have no clue where. Uh, but uh, oh, the guests! How am I gonna kill them? I need arrows. Okay, let's get some arrows. Why not? Um, armory somewhere here. I've got some good armor. Uh, am I missing a helmet? Most likely I am, so I'll just I'll just actually grab this, whatever. Uh, just put a nice helmet in there, get rid of the foot stuff. Grab some arrows and uh, a bow, why not? And uh, let's go and try to see if we can get some... Uh, let me sleep first, if we can get some guest tears. I think there's also achievement if you knock the fireball back at them and then like blow them up or something. So, I've done that on PlayStation 4. 
let's go ahead and actually do that. I think it's not really that hard, especially since I'm playing on easy. Uh, I prefer playing on hard, but uh, I don't feel like dying. I really want to get to level 30 and enchant and get a fortune 3 pickaxe. So, yeah, guys, this episode is going to be playing on easy. Not so happy with it, but mm, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm not the best uh, Minecraft fighter. So let's head back into the nether, or actually, I don't even know when was the last time I was here. Okay, it has been pretty crazy in here. All I know for sure. Oh. Now, I'll need to kill some of those things too. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Hello, buddy. Okay, I have to be super careful, you guys. This is, uh, okay, that, that's, um, that's not good. Is it? Nope, it's not good. Definitely not good. Oh, that's not good either. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm so happy I'm playing on easy. I don't think that's going to do any... I don't think that matters. I don't think that matters. Oh, boy. What am I doing? Why would I even come up here? Oh, that was a waste. Wait, you can actually grab arrows if you misshoot them? You can actually grab arrows. 55. I did not know that. Well, I do know, however, that there is a little gas that I'm... That thing. Wait, what? How did they shoot me? Oh, this thing. This thing is not fun. Trust me. I don't know why they always attack you, though. I've done nothing to it. I'm so happy I've got this uh, bow here. I'll use this to get some magma cream. They're pretty useful, actually. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, what is that? Oh, it's this thing again. Oh boy, that's a real skeleton? I didn't know you exist. I didn't know you exist in nether. Oh boy. Okay, let's eat actually. I'm so happy I'm not playing in uh, hard difficulty right now. Because I would have been dead. I didn't grab any of the guest stuff though. That's not good. Oh boy. Where did I kill the guest? Oh, that... Maybe down there. Yep. Okay. Well, it's not really that bad. This music is uh, a bit crepey, let's say. Zombie pigments, I'm not gonna go after you, don't worry. Uh, what do we have here? Not so cool stuff. Oh, a bunch of lava. It's not cool either. Now, where is the guests? I think it's gonna be the hardest to find them and trying to get rid of them. But at least uh, we're in the nether. It's been definitely a long time since I've been in the nether, so. I think it was like probably the second episode or third I've been in the nether. Oh, hi. I need you. I have to be super careful because I think I can make quite a bit of holes. Um, next of all, I need to be able to shoot it. Okay, that's, that's crazy. Okay, how? Oh my god, how am I supposed to knock that back? How, how did I... Okay. Oh, that was close. I'm, I'm trying to also get the achievement, pretty much, if you can tell. Uh, but at first, uh, let me see if I can be a bit safer. Okay, well. This is a bit dangerous, you guys. Okay, how do you supposed to hit this thing? Okay, let's use a sword, since it's huge. It's gonna be... Probably a bit easier. Well, these are not good. Okay, where is it? Wait, how did you end up there real fast? Okay, that's crazy. Like I said, I'm, I'm not the best Minecraft uh, fighter. Well, especially this. If they make a hole, I'll definitely fall into the lava and it's not really good. I usually prefer having like a um, fire resistance potion so I can like swim in lava or whatever. But I don't think I have any of that. Okay, this thing is definitely really mad at me. I don't know why. I did nothing to it yet. So let's eat, I guess. He just killed his... Oh, I'm getting double teamed. Not the best. Well, how to say it? Once I actually end up getting this achievement, I'll, I'll just... Oh. Wow. Oh my god, go up. Please go up. Okay. Yeah, do it now. Oh, that was a bit higher than I expected. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, okay. Well, you missed did that. Okay, that's not gonna do much. 
But I think sword is the best option, you guys. Let's try to use the torch. Oh, that's gonna hit it. Yes, I did it. Okay, where's my achievement? That might be a diamond. Yep. Do it. Whoa! What just happened? I just got like... Oh, of course. They're teaming up on me. Like, what was I expecting? Um, hello there. Oh! Two of them, actually. Okay. Well, that's not good. Not really. I just have to be super duper careful. Oh, boy. It's not good versing two of them. I'll tell you that. Especially if you can't get any of these guest tiers. Or... Okay. How's there an Enderman in the nether, you guys? What? How is there an Enderman in the nether? I am so confused. They don't give you guests here or whatever it's called. I killed two and there's nothing. Maybe here? Well, I'm a bit upset now. I was hoping to have some guest here. Oh, found one. Okay, I need like, I don't even know how many of those. I think I need quite a bit. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Let's deal with you. How? Am I... Okay, it, it only takes like one shot. Hopefully those didn't fall in lava. Because I definitely need that. I don't care about the experience right now, but... I do care, however, for... Well, I guess it did fall in lava. Oh, boy. Whoa, stay away from me. I don't want to mess with lava. Okay, let's see. Come on. Come right here, actually. How are you not getting hit? Please explain. Uh, I feel a bit stupid for doing that. Oh, boy. What am I even thinking? Letting him do that. Okay, there we go. Tell me I got you. Oh, hi, Magma Cream. You'll be really useful. I'll make quite a bit of fire resistance potions with those. Okay, well, anything here? Um, gunpowder? That's it? That's not why I'm here. I don't need that. Really? Okay, you just run my day. Okay, that's a lot of magma cream there I can get, so I should actually go and do that. Okay, hi. Don't, don't hit me yet, okay? I don't want to, um, I don't want any trouble yet, okay? Guys, guys, stay back. Okay, please, please stay back. Oh boy, what am I even doing? Okay, they're huge. Okay, they're huge. Um, oh! Okay, that's even dangerous. Um, it's more dangerous than, than them. How do they end up... Oh no, that's not good. Eat. Oh, double team. Not good, not good. Okay, how about you? Okay, I got him. Right in the lava, isn't it? Oh no, sweet. Okay, let's go get that. I need that. I think that's the only way I can spawn back the Ender Dragon. So it is uh, quite a bit of work, actually. I never thought that. Oh, wait. Where is it? Okay, it's right there. Okay, sweet. Um, any guests in here? or No. Okay, I never knew Nether what grows over there. I had no clue about that. I'll tell you that right now. I never knew Nether what. I thought it only grow glows in... Oh, whoa, buddy. Okay, listen. Let's be friendly, okay? Oh, oh. Okay, that would have been a better achievement. That definitely deserves a diamond one. I shot an arrow into his fireball and it ended up killing him. That was brilliant. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's eat. It gave me gunpowder. Sweet. It's not really sweet. Oh! Yeah, it, it was gunpowder. So we have three of them. It's not bad. I think I need... How many? I think I need quite a bit. Whoa! Please don't do this to me. I've done nothing to you. You know, I'm just gonna do this and, and see what happens. Well, that happens, of course. Yes. But tell me what. Is that in the lava pool or... Or what? Oh! Of course it was. What was I thinking? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oh boy. 
well, there goes that. I guess uh, I should be doing this, guys, in enough camera because I'm just embarrassed. Uh, that was awfully failing. I, I didn't expect that to happen. So what we're going to do now, guys, is actually go down and start mining, I guess. I do have a pickaxe here that uh, eventually gave up. So what we're going to have is a pickaxe since we need to finish a castle, but kind of a mining episode, why not? Some of you do enjoy that. Um, so we're going to go and grab some torches, which I believe, I don't know where it is, but I know I have some. Uh, okay, well, you know what, we'll just make some more. Let's grab 24 pieces of torches, grab some wood. Nah, whatever. Just use some of those. Okay, that's quite a bit. Alright, so let's put that there since I'll be definitely needing. Okay, you know what? I'll take these with me. Um, and then let me just make torches first. Because torches are pretty useful. There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually head back down. Did I just use all the coal? Of course I did. So let's head back down. I have a chest in there. I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous episode. But I have a chest down there. Which is going to be good. I can just put like the wood in there in case I need something and the reason I put a chest there is because once my inventory gets full I don't have to like come back up or something. Alright so what I'll do is get rid of that and that and what I'm... Um... Oh no. I've had my little sister playing with me today. I think she took my pickaxe. Oh and she died. I hope she didn't lose my fortune pickaxe. No. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why would I let her go down there? Oh boy. Guys, I'm scared. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. She died and she lost it. She drowned in the ocean when she was helping me with the castle. Oh, what a terrible day, you guys. She also died next to me and I had all her stuff. I don't think that was on me. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That is terrible, you guys. This is awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, this is so bad. Oh, no. Where's my fortune pickaxe? My fortune pickaxe is gone. Yep, my fortune pickaxe is gone, guys. I wish I had at least mined this diamonds with it. All my levels are gone, too. I am terribly done. Oh, God. That's not gonna be good. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, no. Guys, I feel so sad right now. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just build a... Another piece of... Whatever, I guess. I'll have the sticks down there waiting for me. I'm just a bit upset. Yep. Nothing. Nonetheless, it's it's all gone. Definitely. I've lost the fortune pick. Not in the lava, but I guess in the water. Um, but yeah, you see now why I say I need to make some magma cream potion. So I have fire resistant in case I fell in the lava or fall in lava. It's not going to be a big of a deal. But what I'm going to do is just grab two pieces of sticks. Just make a crafting table in here. Because we, we're going to need some. So we'll just place one right in here. Just like that. And I'll just craft myself a pickaxe. Because if I find something, I definitely am looking forward into... Um, how to say this, um, mine and get some experience because, guys, this time I'm, I'm not going to head back into the nether. So this part here, it's not complete. So we're going to go there. Oh, I lost my food. I forgot to grab food with me. Not good. That's not good either. Oh, boy. Well, silk touch is going to help me quite a bit. I know I'll be needing some cobblestone as well. But for now, I'm just going to use my silk touch pickaxe because it's faster and... I'll definitely end up getting some cobblestone as well. But mainly uh, what we need at this moment is uh, both. We need cobblestone and we need smooth stone in order to start working on the towers. Okay, I didn't realize I mined this much. 
There's some cold air, but not really gonna go for it. It's next to lava, and I don't really have the best luck when it comes to lava. But yeah, guys, if you have any cool recipes for potions, let me know, and maybe it's time to start working on potions, because... Yeah, everything is uh, not really working in my favor anymore, as you could see. But yeah, so Silk Touch Pickaxe is definitely helpful. Saves time, I don't have to go and smell things. But, however, I think I mentioned this before, but one thing Silk Touch is missing is actually giving you experience while you're mining smooth stone. Uh, because if you were just mined a cobblestone and you, you had to smelt it in order to get smooth stone, and by smelting you would get experience. So, I think that that's something it's missing. It should definitely give you some experience for mining it in the first place. Using the Silk Touch Pickaxe. Well, running low on food isn't the best thing, but... Wait, oh. That was it? That's all I... That's when my pickaxe broke, really? Like, I w it was so damaged and I stopped using it and that's where it stopped. Really. Look at that, that was all I had to mine. Okay, I like this little glitch you can do. It's pretty cool. Look at that, you can look on top of you or something. Oh, I guess, oh, there's a mine shaft there, I guess. That's what it's called. But yeah, that is uh, pretty cool. Look at that, under the ocean, some caves. I wish you could see diamonds doing that. That would be pretty helpful. Okay, so we've got this little touch pickaxe and Sometimes I ended up messing up, so what I do from now on is I just end up just digging one, two, three, and then I just do this. So I don't end up uh, digging into the wrong place, because then I have to like dig for no reason to just make sure there was no diamonds or anything in there. But this is how I find my diamonds, you guys. It's really beneficial uh, finding diamond and getting a whole bunch of resources. Because look, I'm getting so much stuff right now. Okay, what I do is I also use a different pickaxe for these. Because it's kind of no point of using a silk touch pickaxe for these. And this is when I said you'll get, I'll get um, accidentally some cobblestone since I'll be kind of, um, you know, digging the, the other stuff and needing to delete something. Even here, don't really need the smooth stone. Okay. Well, I'm missing a bucket of water. That's something I usually carry with me, just in case of encountering lava. I'll get this out and then just kind of place it in here. Because I don't want to fall and die in it. It's not fun. We, we all experienced that in this episode already. Where's the diamonds? Okay, redstone. Not bad. Now, a redstone and lapis lazuli is something I always mine with the silk touch. The reason being is because redstone, oh, nice. Uh, it's because redstone gives you like usually four every time you mine one block. And now instead of having like, you know, over 20, I only have eight piece. Um, so that's pretty cool. Silk touch pickaxe for this one, that's for sure. I don't wanna ruin it. We, I'm gonna like mine it once we have a fortune pick. So that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, let's dig around just in case. Yep, I don't think I've missed anything. I've had quite a bit of comments lately when I said like, I just, the last thing I want is you guys to comment down and say, oh, you missed the diamond behind you. So I've been late getting comments like that. I, I don't know if they're really trolls or they're legit. Uh, coal is something now I'm gonna mine. Uh, well, I guess I didn't really have to get the other pickaxe because I wouldn't mine this with fortune pickaxe. So I'm just gonna mine it with silk touch and then later on I'll mine it with a fortune pickaxe. But I cannot believe my fortune pickaxe just disappeared like that. I told her not to get anything from there but I guess that's funny. This kind of puts me up more into a challenge to do something else. Um, but yeah so I lost my fortune pick again. Not the best thing. We'll just dig all the way back. And then once I have quite a bit of uh, resources, I guess then, um, cause once I have like five or six stacks of stone, we'll go ahead and start, I guess, working on the castle towers. Because, and then later on I'll just do more mining. Okay, Lapis Lazuli, nice. Again, I'm gonna use Fortune Pickaxe for that cause I need, I like the blue blocks. Also we need that for enchanting anyway, so. The more the better, that's why I use, uh, 
fortune pick on this stuff. The only thing I guess I don't use the fortune pick is the redstone because... I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the redstone blocks. I think if you use too much, it might even like your game. So that's another reason I don't use it. Because I remember back in the day when I was playing Minecraft on PC. Um, and I didn't have the best computer like 3-4 years ago. When I used redstone, it always slowed down my game. There was always a lag. So I don't know if that actually works on consoles. However, since me and my friend T-Rex, we did the um, TNT thing where we made a super flat land and used a whole bunch of TNTs. Um, like a TNT created map. And nothing really happened. Well, that's something. So I don't think um, it would slow down the game if you use quite a bit of redstone. Oh wow, that this is some different. I've never really seen this much lapis lazuli in one place. Look at that. It's pretty okay. Iron blocks. Uh, are we gonna also find diamonds? Okay, that's that's different. Okay, this is definitely something different. This doesn't happen occasionally. Any diamonds in here? I just I'm just looking for diamonds. Okay, nothing. Okay, we'll continue on. So how far are we with all these wolf stone? I wonder. Okay, once we find something. It does look like I have quite a bit of smooth stone. Yeah, well, let's get some more. Hello, redstone. Welcome again into my backpack. Okay, my hunger is going down, and that's a good thing because I'm not in a hard difficulty. Um, oh, wait, that's not good. I'm I forgot about the leaderboards because I was I only play on hard, especially when I'm mining. And now I'm playing on easy, so well that's different. Nah, that's not good. I forgot about that. I could just end the game and switch it into hard difficulty, but I'm just too lazy, I don't wanna lose time for nothing. I could use the other pick, but this is faster, especially in mining iron, since it has efficiency 3, I believe, on it. No, 2. So yeah, it is a bit faster. Yeah, so let's see how close are we. Um, 33, so let's get some more, and then I'll just switch into getting or using my cobblestone pickaxe, if that's what I can call it. Okay, well, that's quite a bit, so let's start using this pickaxe. And look at the amount of iron. That's how I have quite a bit of iron, because doing this straight mine, guys, it, it's so beneficial. Uh, you'll end up, uh, of course, just getting so much resources by just getting cobblestone. Is this a cave or something? Or I probably mined something big in there. Usually, sometimes you can find, like, cobblestone leading into... Not a couple of some, a coal leading into something much better. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Well, I guess I'll have to get rid of it if uh, I need to grab something else. Sometimes I dig something like that and I end up uh, falling in lava when I just jump right back into it. Okay, that's quite a bit of iron in here. I think I'm colorblind today because this is redstone, not a iron. But hopefully you guys will forgive me for that. Alright, apparently I've done this before. And I had no clue. So let's go forward and, and see what um what I've been missing. Probably that's because of the other mine I used to do. Yep, maybe. But definitely I don't think it has hit all the way to the end into the walkway. Since it was kind of blocked. But I think I've done this before and if I go here well this part isn't done at all so this part i guess i've done this before so that's pretty cool how much cobblestone oh not much not good you know what i don't want to waste time i'm just gonna like start digging this and kind of meet my way to the other side because just walking there is kind of waste of time i can just do something beneficial such as getting some more iron. 
Okay, if it's just a two, isn't really that much different compared to just a non enchanted one. So, efficiency four, I think it is, um, is the best way to go. Torch glitch, of course, one of my favorite things you can do. Just save so much time. As you could see. Just place it there. Drop that on it. And that's probably it for that. Just get some more cobblestone, of course. Dirt in here. And if this kind of situation does occur, what I do usually is just kind of dig the two blocks left over here. So once this part is done, I guess, because... Yeah, let's just do this. And I just kind of dig back and then see how far close I am. Well, not so close. <laughs> That's a lot. And then, but the problem is now I have to kind of walk all the way back here before I can continue mining. So that's a bit of a problem. But I guess what I could use or do is um, just kind of mine all the way back. Oh, is this going to kill me now? Wait, what? It can actually kill you? I didn't know that. I thought it, you can only die in hard. Unless I'm just going to go half a heart. I have no idea what's about to happen to me, you guys. I hope I don't die. But one really matters since I don't have much experience. Boom. How much stuff? Uh, not so much. No diamonds, huh? Interesting. Uh, by the way, if you guys are new to the series, the way I do my mining is across the map. So I just mine from one position until I can't mine anymore. And is this iron? Okay, that looked like an iron for some reason to me. Oh, okay, that just takes you half of your hearts. So it leaves you with five hearts. So you have ten hearts, I guess, in Minecraft. That's something I just learned, by the way. I never knew you have only ten hearts in Minecraft. So we learn something new every day. How far? Okay, that's that's quite a bit. Okay, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Ooh, redstone. Nice. How about that? Nope, nothing. Okay. Good to know. So we have one, two, three, four. Four stacks of cobblestone, almost. Cobblestone? Cobblestone. Ah, uh, stupid gravel. I hate gravel. Well, I wonder if how many of you guys actually thought I was going to die in this episode. And if you did, you were completely right. Like, at the moment when I said I'm going to head to the nether. Like, if you guys actually had any thoughts that I was going to die right away... Let me know in the comment section below. It's, uh, it's something kind of cool that you can expect me to die since I'm not the best when it comes to those type of situations. So yeah, let me know. Okay, why is there so much redstone in this area? It's just like a bunch. But I think the amount of cobblestone and smooth stone I have, I should probably be able to finish up all four towers. I hope. I don't really want to go back into mining. Just feeling a bit lazy. So let's see how close that. Oh. Oh, diamonds. Oh, nice. Oh, that's not. That's not good. That part wasn't good. So, let's see what we have here. First things first. Block that off. Place a torch here. Okay, that looked like a diamond for a sec to me. Now this part here is a bit creepy and sneaky and, and dangerous. I probably should come back here later on. I don't want to mess with this. I know, however, I'll just get this. Just this part. Okay, that's good. That's good too. We'll just get these stuff. Alright, so let's see. One... Two, three, four, 
five. Okay, I, I might encounter some lava here. Whoa. Interesting. Usually when this happens, there's usually some lava down there. Okay, anything else here? Nope. Well, that was uh, quite of a stuff, let's say. You know what? I'm gonna just block this off and head my way to here. And see what this has to offer. Just block that lava off. Place a torch here. Put a torch here. Place a block here. Oh, gold. Nice. Gold is something I don't... Oh, I forgot about my health. Now that's a problem. I don't even have armor. Forgot about that too. Well, that's good to know. I've got all this iron here. So I guess we can explore this place. Hopefully I don't end up dying again. But yeah, I could possibly smelt some stuff. And that should give me some experience. But all I need is level 30 in order to get a fortune 3 enchantment. If that's the highest, let me know. I'm not sure what the highest is. But that's definitely going to be the highest I've ever gotten for a fortune attachment. Why do I always say attachment? Enchantment. Well, that is pretty safe. Um, coal, um, not really interested. Okay, nope, 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me, I'm out. Okay, I'm done. I'm not messing with you. Especially next to a lava, you can knock me off. So easy. Like, I wouldn't even imagine. So we'll just continue back on and, and see how far I have to go. Let's see. Uh, not so much. I'll love if that last block is like actually digging um, the front. Oh, oh, buddy. Blow up. Just, just blow up. Yeah, nice. Just gonna like place some stuff here. Don't really wanna deal with them. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So just gonna start. Oh, okay. That's that's something unexpected. I hate when that happens. So we're just gonna dig this way. Oh boy! I almost fell in that. I was so close to hang right there. Just have to be really careful mining the top because that's what happened to my other fortune pick. Okay, you know what? Now that's that's getting a bit dangerous. So is that. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. That's uh, a lot of gravel. Ooh, hello there. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Ooh. Okay, I didn't realize that's uh, I thought it was one of those uh, granite That's uh, that's pretty good, I guess Oh, hello lava Boom Okay, so how close? Mm, quite close. Okay, that's that's not good. I hate every time I encounter these. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, this thing. Forgot about this. I did block it last time. I knew that's gonna happen. I have to be so careful that I don't get shot or something. Boom. Because my health isn't the best. I'm next to lava. I don't want to fall in it. Because I'll definitely lose all my stuff. Which isn't going to be good. Okay. 
pretty close. I wish I had a shovel with me now. This is uh, quite boring. What? I thought that was nothing. Okay, why is my torch getting broken somehow? Interesting. Okay. Anything on top? Of course not. Nothing is here. Cobblestone wise, we have quite a bit of cobblestone. Not as much, I think, as the smooth stone, however. But the more cobblestone, the better, since we can always turn it into smooth stone. Huh. I'm so confused. What just happened? Did we just dig this part at least? Well, I guess uh, both of these are done somehow. Unexpectedly, I didn't know that's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and block this off. And this off, since they're both done. And put a torch up there. And now what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna start like digging this way. Since I've already dug this part, but probably in a later day or later episode. Now, what I'm going to put here is actually nothing for now. We're just going to head back up, uh, have some food, which I lost all my food, actually. That's not good. I wish I I just never fell in that lava. So we're just going to go up. Um, I hope I have some food, probably right here. They're not cooked. I had all the good stuff on me. Of course I did. What was I thinking? Can we cook that? No, we can't. Can I eat this? Wait, you can't eat this? You can't eat a rabbit's foot. What can you do with a rabbit's foot? Let me know. I have no clue. Can I eat this? Rabbit's uh, whatever this is. I can't eat it. Interesting stuff. I don't know what I can do with it. Let's eat some chicken. Because we all know what to do with chickens. We can eat them. They're delicious. Okay. So, let's have a nice nap. Wake up. Go to the furnace. Grab this chicken. Eat them and hopefully have some full health. Probably not going to happen. Yeah, I'll have like... Just nine of them, I guess. Maybe ten. I don't think that's going to regenerate my health, however. So that's not good. Boom. Alright, so we are low on food. Hopefully the farm has grown some stuff. Now, on the redstone chest, I think it's this one. We're gonna put all this stuff in there. Lapis lazuli, some, some more. Iron and diamonds are in this chest. So we're just gonna put the diamonds, the gold, iron. That's pretty much it. And coal, I believe, is this one right here. Nope, this one. Hello, Mr. Cole. Redstone. Let's get rid of this one. Um, gravel and flint are these ones. Get rid of those. Simple. Get rid of the dirt. Give me the cobblestone, please. Um, and the set, I believe, is these ones. Yep. All this stuff go there. And boom. I am set to go and finish the, that stuff I was doing. Alright, so what I'm going to do is head back to the farm. Oh my god, we've lost so much stuff in this episode. I've lost a dragon egg. Uh, I've lost all the guest teeth or tears, whatever they're called. What am I doing? Interesting. Silly me, I guess. Okay. So, here's some, uh, some stuff I can do. I can make some bread. Hopefully I remember to replant these, otherwise it's not going to be good. That should be plenty of stuff. So, what I'll do is I'll put that torch, combine them together, I guess I should say. And start planting some more. Just like this. Have some more. I think the food I'll get is probably... Okay, I didn't realize that you can regenerate your health with 9 hunger bars. I didn't know that. Maybe it just takes slower to regenerate health. 
But yeah, we're just gonna put some more seeds here since I have like... Oh, I should have not jumped on that. By the way, I always forget that I'm not supposed to jump on these and... That's why some of the stuff I cannot place because I don't have hoe with me. And I'm too lazy to place a chest here which will contain some hoes and, and seed in them. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, what I'm gonna do, however, is build a nice bread because I'm pretty hungry. And I need two more of these. Well, that's, that's I guess, all I need. Let's go quickly and make one piece of bread again. That was not two. Huh. I thought I took two out. Oh, yeah, it was two. Duh. Okay. Except I forgot to pick it up. Boom. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is replant these seeds since I don't really need um, anything and I again forgot that I'm not supposed to jump on that but I got lucky all right so let's head towards the castle so I can show you guys the measurements kind of thing I know exactly how it is so what I'm gonna do is since you can see that I'm actually gonna like build one full thing I'm not gonna like try to finish that off because I, I kind of want to show you guys the measurements since if I get bored and I'm not recording, I might end up uh, building the other stuff. So I kind of want to show you guys what I do. Um, kind of teach you guys how I build these towers, which is pretty cool, actually. So, as you can see, the entire castle will be almost the same thing. So, like I mentioned, see this part, the window, and then there's a smooth stone. Same thing there. I don't really have any levels on them yet. So that's something different. Alright, so here's how we start. We start with a cobblestone here. So I place whatever, you can leave it or not. And then I do this, so... Here will be cobblestone, of course. Smooth stone. This is where the window will be, or a door. But I'm thinking of having, like, underground entrance for those. For, like, entering the tower. And then it will be like that. Next thing I do is, so I guess this is... One, two, three, four, five. Five cobblestone straight, and then just kind of do that. Not the best teacher, I know that. Alright, so we're gonna have this. Same thing repeating. It's the easiest way for me to actually remember how it's supposed to be. That's why I end up, but otherwise it's like this. And then just kind of do the whole thing over again. Maybe the best option is to jump on one of them. So it'll be like this. And it has to be two, so. Doesn't really have to be, whatever you prefer. So if you're building this in your world, it's uh, whatever it's supposed to be. Like you can choose if you want to keep it at the same looking measurements as mine or something different. So what I do then is finish the top with a cobblestone layer, just like this. So it's pretty simple. And then we use cobblestone on the corners, smooth stone around these three blocks. Same thing here. And now you can probably tell why I say it's so simple. Okay, let's use this, just get that back. All right, so we have one done. We need six floors. So we have one done. Now what I do is we put this cobblestone. The whole thing has to be cobblestone, just like this. If you can see on that one. So, it's pretty simple. Once you know it, of course. Nothing is simple if you're new to it. Alright, so, there we go. We're gonna put, again, repeat the whole process. And that's how I build this stuff, pretty much. Just jump there, put that there. And again, feel free to let me know what you guys think of the design. It's always... I always like to hear your opinions as well when I'm building things because opinions are not bad they're actually always guiding you to the proper direction or direction okay so I hope I have enough stuff I honestly hope <laughs> to at least finish this one tower but once you did this part oh see I did end up forgetting this once and I did it again. Make sure you always put uh, cobblestones to kind of have the same look as mine. 
So in the corners, you put cobblestone and then you put the smokestone in the middle. So we have two floors done, four more to go. Do the same thing again, just kind of go all around it. Just like this. Boom, okay. And then we just kind of repeat the same process once again. Oh, oh no, <laughs> that's not good. Okay, do you guys think, uh, you know what, let's just play safe than sorry. I'll just lose this one piece of cobblestone. I thought I could make a jump there, but I don't want to risk it. I know I'll fall in the water, but it's kind of painful to come back up here. I'll tell you that. So I don't really want to run out or anything like that since there's no any ladders or whatever. So that's the reason I don't want to um, risk anything. So I'd rather just lose a cobblestone. There we go. Once that's done, let's go ahead and place uh, four corners so I don't forget. We're just going to put a layer of smooth stone again. Finish it off with more cobblestone, of course. So let's do that. And it looks like you need more cobblestone than smooth stone, actually. And then we're gonna, definitely going to put glass there. I'm hoping for a tinted glass, or we might just leave it empty since, after all, it is a castle. So, some castles don't really have any windows. Alright, I'm not sure about that, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I just think that castles don't really have windows, some of them. Like, especially these walls. So let me know if I'm right or not, but I'm just guessing. Alright, so let's get this there. That there as well. Yeah, it should have definitely enough, I hope. <laughs> enough stuff the best so running out is gonna be a terrible thing all right so we have three working on the fourth one so I guess we'll be two more to go once this is done I just don't remember how the final part is like the top so that's uh, gonna be or might be a problem I can't really remember how I did it but after all once you see it guys it's like kind of copycatting the first floor kind of thing it's the same thing Again, let's put the four corners because I definitely will forget if I don't. And then fill it up with smooth stone. Once again, nighttime is happening. So one, two, three, four floors. Not bad. Finish it off again with uh, complete cobblestone. There we go. Hopefully, no skeleton will shoot me down. Otherwise, that's not going to be fun. And if they do, hopefully I hit the ground. Not the ground, the water. My bad. Um, uh, that's what my sister was actually helping me. As you can see there, we decided to kind of block off the bottom. And then I realized what's the point. We can just kind of put whatever it was going to be there. So that's what I end up doing. Or we ended up doing. Okay. More cobblestone. Hopefully, nothing crazy will happen. I hate working at night time. I don't have any bed on me. Oops. I wish I grabbed the bed. Look at the amount of bed. I have one bed there. Probably one in that corner or one in that corner. Um, and I have nothing on me. Because I'm not smart enough. So, that will be cobblestone here. There we go. Boom. And then just kind of all around again. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like we're working on the last floor. Not bad. It's actually pretty good. I think the fastest part is actually doing this. Since we're working on just doing two. Well, I guess I can't really get that. So not much point anyways. Okay, boom. So this is the last floor. So let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, sweet. All right, after that, it looks like what I've done is actually I went ahead and finished it off with. Yeah, apparently I did that. Huh. 
yeah, I guess I put all these corners. I don't know, I might have forgotten that. But looks like I did end up doing that. So I did this. Just like that. And then what I did is, I kind of done that. So it kind of goes all around it. Just like that. Not the same as the walls. I did think of doing this on the walls, but it just wouldn't look as good. So that's why I decided to just stick with this design. Just only on the towers. But yeah, I think uh, I think this looks pretty good. Boom. Look at that. And it's always uh, nice and equally, so it's not really um, uneven. Oh, wow. Just enough to build one tower. And I was guessing that it would be enough to build the whole thing, which I was definitely wrong. Okay, so let's put a torch there, torch there, there, and there. Let's kind of light this place up. Now, it is water, so I could really jump there. Well, maybe it's the best option to do so. But it is nighttime after all. The bed is over there. There's some zombie in there. That's not good. Some slime. Oh, boy. Could I make it to the bed? Let's see. Let's jump in here. It might sink really far down. Mm, not so much far. Uh, there's a zombie and a skeleton. That's not good. Skeleton is the worst nightmare when you're on the water. You can't really run, as you can see. Let's eat first before I die. And I'm so glad that I'm in easy difficulty. Especially since I have no armor. Oh, there's a zombie there. Good luck sleeping. Okay, anything here? Oh, a spider in there. It's not the best option getting in there. Can I sleep here, please? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, sweet dreams. Boom. Nice. Oh, yeah. The towers are looking great. Whoa! At least that's not looking great. That's definitely not looking great. Okay. Let's stay back. All right, um, one, two, three, four. I don't think we have enough cobblestone to do that. I thought I could go up there and just kind of do at least that tower, but as you can see, it is pretty simple to build a tower like this. Uh, it looks awesome. Uh, before we actually end the episode, let's head back into the, uh, okay, I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Uh, after all, they should disappear late, sooner or later. It is pretty dark in there, so I'm not sure. But for now, let's just, uh, well, they shouldn't really be spawning there. Uh, guys, I think I have to get rid of the redstone torches. Oh, my chicken friend is done. Where's my chicken? Remember the chicken in a boat? Um, looks like now that's gone too. Boom. Okay. Well, let's head back up on the tower and kind of see what it looks like. Because, wow, actually, already looks great. Hey, there's my chicken friend. Wait, did he seriously sit in it again? Okay, guys, chickens love boat. Or maybe the boat was already here. Huh. Well, what do you guys think? Let's see. Probably going to be a great thumbnail picture too. But what do you guys think? I think that just looks great. All right, so let's head up on the tower before we end the episode. Kind of want to see it from the top. But after all, it looks brilliant. It's something I was looking forward. Uh, while I was building it there, it was again something I imagined. Uh, but it wasn't really the proper position to build it. And now, that's definitely where it had to be. And I'm so, so happy with the design. Because I, I also find that the layout might not be like mine. But the design of the cobblestone blocks and all that is definitely mine. I, I just came up with it. And it, it makes you always be more proud because if you guys are working on your map and you just create something, you always feel good about it since you just thought of it and it looks awesome at the end, if you get what I'm saying. I'm not saying, it, like, to me, I just think it's great. Look at that. I mean, that is just nice. And honestly, at some point, it kind of looks like it's a prison <laughs> since it has now the towers and and it's like nicely walled in and like guards can walk over there and just protect it. So now it kind of looks like more towards a prison so far uh, instead of a castle. But it is a castle. So we'll see at the end. We might rename it into prison if it looks too much to a prison. But uh, maybe 
we might end up building a prison somewhere actually why not prison could be a great project and voila that's what the world looks like well i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode it was a lot of fun filming especially the part that i died just lying about that honestly it was not fun dying especially losing all the stuff fortune pay guys it's something i had no plans whatsoever i had no idea it's missing and it, it was a terrible feeling However, uh, the episode definitely uh, warmed everything up, especially once I built the second tower fully complete, which was the, actually the third tower, but since the second one wasn't fully done, and we built a third one, I call it the second tower that was completely finished. And the reason, if we come here and you can see, we have a fortune 3 at enchantment once I hit level 30, so that's something I'm looking forward into uh, getting. Oh, come on, let me out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.